to continue to introduce you to uh, our first recipe, which is a very quick, easy, two minute QC's brown bread. So we make this on a daily basis and uh, sell it in our shops and have been known to even uh, on special orders to send it to Dubai and Paris. So we're just going to show you what ingredients we have. It's, it's very simple, very straightforward, and it takes all the uh, wonder out of bread baking. So please give it a go. Um, it really only takes two minutes. Okay, so we are going to start off with our ingredients. We've got wheat meal, whole meal, wheat bran, porridge, oats, and I've got the quick um, soak porridge oats, sesame seeds, brown sugar, and bread soda. And then over in this little section here, we have just our buttermilk. And what we do is we whisk some treacle into our buttermilk and it gives the brown bread a really nice, thick, um, golden brown color. Just the, an easiest way to, to measure things out, and this will make about two loaves of bread, is um, to get something like a jug. And what I'm actually gonna use is just because it's easy for me, is a pint glass. The pint glass takes about 300 grams of flour. And exactly what I need is 300 grams of wholemeal, 300 grams of wheat meal, and I make the rest up to combine 300 grams. So that's my wholemeal in. <coughs> wheat meal. Our wheat meal is another 300 grams. Hold on. Pop it in. Okay, and then we combined 300 grams, so it's 100 grams each of um, oats, bran, and sesame seeds. Perfect. So pop all your dry ingredients together. Some brown sugar, so it's Demerara brown sugars we're using. I'm just using a third of a glass of that. So it's a level teaspoon of salt, heaped teaspoon of bread soda, sieved. Yeah. Just mix it all together. And then we're using buttermilk. Pop that in there. So that's a litre of buttermilk. So you, you, mean you make your mixture quite sloppy. And then we're using one tablespoon of treacle. And once you put the liquid into the dry mixture, the key is really to get it mixed and into the oven ASAP. So this is just a very handy greasing spray. You can use oil, sunflower oil. Now, there it goes. And make a well in the center. I'll just use this much at the moment just to make sure everything is all right. How wet does the mixture need to be? So fairly wet, so it's nice and moist. This bread lasts for a few days, which is great. And I'm making two as opposed to one, because I just feel if you're putting the oven on, you might as well make two, freeze one. So then, just scoop it out into your tin. If you don't want to use your hands, you can use obviously a wooden spoon or spatula. Uh, just find it easier when you're combining ingredients I do to to use your hand with it. Okay, so there, your two. And all you need to do if you want to finish it off is you can put some sesame seeds or some oats or both or whatever on top. That's it. Into your preheated oven, which is at 150 for about an hour and 45 minutes. So one hour, 15 minutes in the tins. Then we take them out of the tins for half an hour and leave them in the oven. And that gives them a nice crusty finish. All right. So here we go. We're just going to pop this in the oven for an hour and 45 minutes at 1.50. So we come back in a, an hour and 50 minutes and we'll look Already simple as. So after an hour and 50 minutes, we're just going to go to our bread, take it out of the tins. Like that. And you're popping that back in. Put it back in for half an hour, another 30 minutes. And it just gives that crust on the outside, which is quite nice, it's nice and crisp. So back in it goes. Okay, so half an hour later, and bread is ready. A cooling rack. 
and leave it cooled out obviously before you cut it. If you're not going to use it all, leave it cool, wrap it in cling film, date it and put it in your freezer. <laughs>